Hi Scorpio, Siberia from Cats and Cards, and I have Almond Eden Garnet here. This is a root chakra stone, it's a manifestation stone. It's also a detox stone, it helps with addiction, blood regulation. So let's get into your collective pool. Please click that like, subscribe button if my readings resonate with you through spirit. Let's get some general energies, next 48. Well, I almost called you Aquarius, Scorpio. So you have the Eight of Wands, but it's also mirroring this Knight of Pentacles. So it could have something to do with money and time. So over the next eight days, it's like you're a badass billing being. See, I see billing process. You are a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. So it's like you can do this. You can get through this. Give me more um, general energies here. Somebody could uh, ride a motorcycle or know how to um, ride horseback. The Four of Swords in reverse. It's almost like it's like restless energy, but outside energy. The Eight of Pentacles working on something. And the Nine of Swords in reverse, but it's also mirroring the Four of Swords. There's a lot of swords here. So it's like you come out of this over anxious behavior and then you fall right back into it then you feel good it's like maybe somebody's not getting that much rest somebody could be recovering from a surgery or this may be two people that are like trying to work on money and communication give me more for general energies here for Scorpio there's something working out for you when it comes to your money and movement here over the next eight days it's like slow movement but it's it's working out for you so you have the change card in reverse there may be a car that um, needs serviced or it's like um, hmm, there could be a stop when it comes to like I see you wanting to get outside and I see you going outside more but I see like running errands. I see kind of overworked with a lot of changes when it comes to time management. This could be with children or cars. The number 18, the number nine. Um, there could be children possibly affecting money or anxiety here. The number nine. Spirit's just saying let it go. Let what you can't change go here. Give me more for general energies. Next 48. Rich man in reverse. Yeah, so it's like somebody here is working on their money. Um, the journey card is like lessons with children, endings and beginnings. It could possibly be with love. This is success wants and love wants to come towards this rich man. So maybe you're feeling like um, youthful and abundant in love right now. Your life's journey right now could be about children and money. Um, let's get some clarity on your money situation. Next 48, Scorpio. And then we'll clarify some of these cards. Give me money for Scorpio. Next 48. You have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like, hmm, you are, you are in a new beginning. But it could be like delays or setbacks. Especially when it comes to like um, loyalty or manifesting here or something. Because this person is holding this white flower. Like it's like they come in peace or... Um, they are trying to transmute a lot. And the Nine of Pentacles is like single um, energy, but it's like in the reverse. This King of Pentacles wants to come out on the top of the deck. The King of Pentacles is like um, money, contracts. Give me the success and love um, card for Scorpio. There could be something going on with a contract here. Give me one more for the contract. Okay, so you got the Knight of Wands. It could be... Um, you have to make quick quick decisions when it comes to like, see, I see this work energy as like overtime or being cheated out of time at work. Like you made a hasty decision to like do change your shifts or something like that here because it's like a circus or you need a break or something. Yes, it's a mental break. So I see you're trying to get your mind right. What is this success and love for Scorpio placements, please? The Queen of Cups. So it's like the more nurturing side of you wants to come out. The Chariot card. So it's like very slow movement. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. What is the success and love for Scorpio? Karma. So this could be from some type of karma that you put out. Good karma. You um, may have one or two people that you like kick it with. Unorthodox. 
like situation and people it's like yes um the funeral card wants to come towards me so it's like again some type of ending to something the number 19 9 and 1 is 10 so 10s are completed cycles what is this journey card for scorpio thank you spirit you're getting justice in your soul journey and it's coming in with money, but it's just like the ebb and flow and balance of money right now. Libra and energy is also a court situation. This could be a court situation coming in and it's like you already know it. You already suspect it. Um, what is what, what does Scorpio need to know about this court situation or this Libra and energy? It could be a feminine. Yeah, money wants to come towards me. So this person wants to slow down your money. The Eight of Wands is in reverse. The Eight of Wands is delay, slow down communication. You have that twice. It's almost like somebody is trying to exact karma. Or you may be tired here. What does uh, Scorpio need to know about? Yeah, these cards fall out. The two of swords and the four of pentacles. So this two this two of swords is like over the next two weeks. Maybe it's like you're trying to know what you need to spend your money on and know what to block out here. Feminine energy, like knowing what you need. Like, I don't know, um, house supplies um, here. I see candles. I see like decorations or cups or something. It's like it may be somebody trying to be flashy. I see somebody getting like some new jewelry or their crown activating a little bit. I don't know why I'm picking up that energy. I'm giving the love energy for Scorpio. Wow, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, so this Eight of Cups all falls on the Knight of Wands. So you're receiving some type of download here, some type of communication about a contract or some type of luck. And you're walking away from it. So maybe you're possibly turning down some type of um, transformation when it comes to money. It's like the Ten of Pentacles. You're... Hmm. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So you've left a single situation to like... I feel like somebody's working on something. Because the Eight of Cups is walking back to this Ten of Pentacles. It's like you want to work on something with someone. What does the person on Scorpio's mind want to say? Yeah, the Nine of Wands is here. There's something with sex as well. There could be possibly people um, trying to give you offers. What does is, what is, um, the person on Scorpio's mind want to say? So the crony wants to come out here. It could be a feminine. Give me um, energies for masculine Scorpios. So you're showing up as emotionally connected here, a psychic, intuitive, or uh, like special spiritual gifts here. You may be taking things personally at this time, masculine. Um, give me more here from the masculine spirit. Yeah, there's some type of decision that you're making, and it's going to bring you like prosperity, comfort. Um, it could be in communication, or it could be some type of law or contract here. Give me a couple more for masculine energy spirit. Yeah, thank you. This castle, this pride, this recognition, it is here. It's showing up. Um, you could possibly be healing this energy at this time, masculine. Uh, there's something with ancestry or families. Um, it's becoming unblocked here. So it's like a mindset. You're unblocking this like crippling energy. The number four, um, give me feminines here. So you have six and four. Those are levels of ascension. Someone could have been born in 1964. So this card's fall on the floor. Give me feminine energy spirit. There could be hassles and problems here, um, feminine Scorpio. There definitely needs to be patience, especially if it comes to like an animal or mishaps here. There is room for future gain here, Sagittarius energy, um, Taurus energy. There could be a Taurus that's coming over some type of hardship or change. 5-5 five, five is in your reading, Scorpio feminine. Move on from this right now. Um, you're going to have to be um, flexible. Where there's... Um, so much resistance. Just be flexible. Move on. This train here is like uh, movement with communication, movement with um, vehicles. Something is a steady climb here. Um, Spirit's asking you to just pay attention. It's asking you to go within, do more contemplation, um, deep breaths, relaxation. Somebody could um, be going over like some type of um, notes or, or scheduling here, the number 47. What else should Scorpio know at this time? I'm being advised to move to a different deck. See, the crony energy wants to come out. Somebody wants levels of ascension with you. The number 54 here as well. You could even, you could even be 54 years old. Um, they want to reconcile with you, be with you. Okay, I'm going to use this deck over here. Um, 
Scorpio, there's balance coming into your life when it comes to contracts, possibly home life, and things that were blocking and chopping you. Let's get some more. What is Scorpio transmuting? Next 48 hours. Ah, uh, groupy ass energy. There may be people coming in wanting to um, hang out with you. Or maybe this is like groups at work because this, um, be careful, salt and sugar look the same, don't they? Um, this could be clicks showing up. Um, divine timing is here. It's in the reverse. These things could happen over the next five days for some of you because there's a lot of fives in your reading. There's five, five, five in your reading. There's five, 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 five. And those are um, sometimes unexpected changes, surprises. Um, going with the flow of those changes. Yeah, dodging bullets is here. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, being protected. Um, having a hard time dusting it off sometimes, but still doing that. Look at this, Scorpio. Jackpot card. And then you have uh, photo proof and ed evidence in reverse. This could be somebody collecting data on you as well. So be careful with that. Um, this card wants to stick out here, but I'm going to see what else you're transmuting next 48 hours. Let's see. All these cards want to fly out. So the thoughts card is way out here. Number 16, it could be thoughts with communication or ideas. Um, there are also thoughts. Um, the card comes with the number 16. So those could be projections. It could be karmic debt with love. Let's get out some letter tiles for you. The letter Y and the letter D. The letter H and letter R. That could be HR, Yoda. No, I'm just playing. The letter R and F. The letter H and N, if those resonate. The letter F and M. Um, let's see. I am being directed towards the runes. We'll see what comes out here. Rado. Wagon, there is progress, there is movement, rhythm, it's like ebb and flow of life. Somebody may want to go dancing, or somebody, um, somebody may want to evolve, evolve from what they're doing now, like decisions. Um, the letter R is here, that could be significant. Um, you have H, Hagalaz here. So I feel like the worst is over, the movement is now happening. I want to mention I also have Rose Quartz here, Scorpio, the Stone of Love. I also have Crystal Cola, Goddess Stone, and Water Stone, because you are a water sign. Let's reshuffle here. None of these flipped over. Evolution of the soul message, messages, and then we will close out the reading. Evolution of the soul for Scorpio. Yeah, so we got level three conscious. I'm going to take these um, top cards. See, it's almost like you want your old life back because you struggle and you're new, but you know there's good for you in the future. The number five also shows up in the candles that she was holding. I also see that as dark um, feminine or dark masculine energy, um, dark night of the soul and coming out um, on top. You're becoming more sensitive and aware of things. That yellow is clairvoyance, clairaudience. The clairs, um, special gifts. It's like, I don't know, special gifts here in the 3D. So that is what Spirit has for you. Please like, share, subscribe to further connect with me. Everything you need to know will be in the description box. Thanks, Scorpio.